Survivor, though, which wrapped up season 42 this past week of the, the new Survivor era. I think right. it's uh, safe to say the game is not going back. And I, I think I, I'm on board with this new era. I like I like the twist. Now that I kind of know the beats a little bit more, I think I could uh, enjoy the game a little bit. Right. Did you have the same experience? Yeah, I think that it, that's also, I think, an important thing to think about with Survivor 42 shot back to back with Survivor 41, which was the first iteration of this new era. So all the contestants, of course, didn't know these twists that we as the audience were now familiar with from 41. And now when we see season 43, we'll be like in the next step of this new phase of Survivor because the producers will have learned lessons from 41 to 42 in terms of what is effective and what is less effective and things like that. So I'm, I'm even more curious to see what is that next step now because you definitely feel like they will t- attempt to take a new step with uh, 43. But yes, I enjoyed 42 even more than 41, to be honest, because I thought it was even better casting. I thought 41 was a really good cast with a lot of people that you could definitely see coming back. And 42 really took that to the next level because I just thought there were so many memorable characters. And even if there were some twists that I had literally just seen in the last season, I didn't mind because I just thought there were just so many characters I was interested in. And of course, the same uh, appeal of analyzing survivor gameplay and putting yourself on the island and in the shoes of various contestants and thinking about how you would handle a situation, uh, even with the benefit of being a, just a viewer, you know, all that, all that is still there, which is the core of survivor gameplay, which is what makes it, makes it so great and so fun to dissect and think about. That was all still there too, but I think the cast really took this one to the next level. Yeah. Who did you find yourself rooting for throughout the, the season? Yeah. So that's a great question. I think, I think if you're really in the weeds with survivor, you often will shift your allegiances and just start rooting for good gameplay and rooting for underdogs to survive and make it through and things like that. That's just the most fun and interesting things to see happen. So I honestly, um, I found myself rooting for Jonathan a lot towards the beginning, just because one, it's really cool to see a true challenge be succeed just because it is uncommon, but also new age survivor, the high survivor IQ of the average player these days puts a huge target on the challenge beast. So I was like, how far can Jonathan actually survive? Now, right. some of his um, personality coming out in the later on being a bit uh, uh, misogynistic in terms of what we saw, in terms of how he uh, would interact with female people on the beach, definitely makes him a less less interesting to root for. But I just thought, like as like a as like an archetype character, I thought he was pretty uh, pretty compelling for a role that we've kind of written off like it's impossible for someone that physically dominant to win the show these days and he didn't win of course so i guess that's still true yeah i found myself rooting for jonathan a lot i was really frustrated by his inability to strategize and really like see the whole board he really struggled in um things outside of the the challenges building relationships strategizing um just not his forte but i was i was rooting for him um I definitely stopped rooting for him as much after his uh, uh, tribal with Drea and Marianne oh, yeah. after Roxroy was um, voted out in the, the split yes. tribal. Making uh, it about him, have. which is brutal. Yeah, very brutal. I think he's someone that if he comes back on the show, we'll probably have some sort of like uh, training, <laughs> you know, on how to like handle those sorts of situations more tactfully mm-hmm. on TV. At least I hope so. Um, I, I didn't find myself rooting for Mike very much. I found myself very almost like annoyed by Mike's like strategy of like, oh, I'm <laughs> holier than thou type of thing. I'm straightforward. When I think the jury did a really good job of like putting the screws to him and actually yeah, made him they blasted the his ass. They, yeah. they 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 raked him over the coals and he couldn't handle it. And that's a big part of why he didn't win. And what's so funny about that is I think what the jury really wanted to hear was like might kind of say like yeah i had to be like deceiving at times and like i did i wasn't always like straightforward with people but mike like, could not accept that about himself and so it really mm-hmm. opened the door for marianne who was probably the player that grew the most on me after oh, the first absolutely. or two episodes i was so annoyed by marianne i found her personality to just be very grating she was like over the top all the time and she grew on me especially once i got to the merge she really started to i think find her stride and uh was really impressed by her growth totally i think from the beginning i was like at the very least marianne 
great casting, great for this show, this kind of personality, one of one, but it's just very memorable, fits great for what kind of people you want on the show. They have to be interesting, they have to be fun to talk to and things like that, right? Yeah. And she had all that, but I mean, really just to see her blossom at the very end, the way she really expertly explained why she deserved to win, yeah. and of course, expertly timed alongside Mike being unable to explain why he deserved to win. Uh, she, I think I think she's a very deserving winner. I agree. Yeah, and you know, um, was Lindsay the the name of the other one? The final five. Uh, yeah, Lindsay. Yep, yeah. Lindsay, Romeo, Jonathan, Mike, Mary, yeah. all them. R- Romeo, I liked because he kept bringing it back to his at home job of being a coach of pageant girls. Just, I just found it <laughs> be so, so unique and interesting. But Lindsay, I think, ha- has real potential to come back and to potentially win the future out of everybody. I think she mm-hmm. is the most strategic. And also, obviously, a challenge beast going toe toe Jonathan quite right. often. So, um, yeah, I, overall, great season. Love where Survivor's going. Um, just can't wait to see what they do with it next. And uh, out of the, the two seasons, I know you said that this season had more characters that you yeah. liked. Who was like your top three that you want to see come back for sure? Ooh, from both or just this one? Yeah, just the, the, the last two. Who do you want to see come back? Yeah. Top three. Top three. Oh, top three is tough. I, 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 you know what? Let's just go for it. Give me Jonathan from 42. Ooh. Give me Shan from Shan. 41. I think those are both pretty obvious. And there's so many I like. You know, I, I like Omer a lot from season 42. I, um, you know, in a sense, he, he was like Icarus. He flew a little too close to the sun. <laughs> he really started feeling himself. But at the end of the day, he had been really pulling off some moves in 42. And I thought he, it was definitely a good showing. And, you know, um, they voted him out because it was the right thing to do. Um, e- even, like, people that went kind of quick, like like Tori. Everyone hated Tori's guts. I was like, you know what? She wasn't that bad either. I, I could see her coming back. I could see Lydia, who just missed out on uh, the merge, coming back, stuff like that. Um, man, I mean, I was really rooting for Xander through 41 yeah. a lot. I wouldn't mind seeing him come back. He's very young, like Marianne, so you could definitely see it. Um uh, there I are tons say, of people. Honestly, I, I would, I would, I would take back. Really, my, my top three, one hundred percent, are Ricard, yeah. Shan, and Lindsay. I, I really like Lindsay, and I think those three going toe to toe are just play the game at such a high level on all fronts. So, would love to see who they bring back. I'm sure in a few seasons we'll have so many players that we want to see again. Oh, so yeah. it's very exciting, I think, because the average player is just so much more advanced and thoughtful about what works, what doesn't work, how to succeed. And now you get everyone with, I mean, as all the veteran players, the past winners will talk about, it's so much different when you go back having already played. And think about like Shan and Ricard or Omer, all these people that were super strategic and very effective at being strategic, but still didn't win. Mm-hmm. Just imagine like what they think about uh, if they ever were back, you know, like how much like more advanced they probably are about yeah. how, what they would and wouldn't do. It's just the, the possibilities are right there. Now, someone like Mike, who very much deserved to win this season, if he could just sell himself, if he owned it and was like, hey, I ran the game. I was like Tony in season 40. I was the godfather. If he had owned it, he would have won. And that is a strategy style of gameplay that has been rewarded tremendously by juries recently. So do you definitely want to see him come back? I don't know, because... He, I don't know if he would change it up this much. I feel like if you returning players need to have like some like really like I think flashy thing, whether it's really good strategy or really good like challenge play. Yeah. And all the people we've just talked about are at least giving you one, if not both of those. So um, maybe when do you think we'd get a returning season? Maybe maybe they're going to do two more all new people, and then season forty five is a returning players. Mm-hmm. That sound right? Because they, they shoot back to back in Fiji. They have this whole rhythm, the production now. So I think it's definitely far too soon to really expect anyone from these seasons to be back until, I mean, at the very earliest, probably the end of 2023. Yeah, right? That's I what that would set sense. us up for 45. So I think that's so. probably the time to watch, I think. Yeah. Uh, I, I can't wait whenever it does come. Uh, Survivor's in a good place. I hope they keep. Uh, leaning into the, the diversity I think that really adds a nice element to the show and makes it really interesting and obviously there's so many fans of it now everybody just knows the game in and out just 
makes it right. so much more fun. Yeah. I think the one the one thing I would like them to eliminate was it was the do or die, which we talked about forty one, mm-hmm. just because I don't want anyone to ever be eliminated without actually have been voted off. Yeah. Like like in such a manner, especially because that was strictly just chance. In this mm-hmm. case, Deshaun and Lindsay both survived the Monty Hall problem here, but like uh, I just don't find that compelling. That just pure pure luck. I think the coolest part about it this time was that almost everyone said, nah, I'm not taking that chance at competing in this challenge. And then we just had the well, Lindsay Jonathan head to head. That was probably yeah. the best part about it. And then I think we all were rooting for Lindsay to not go out in such a lame way. And thankfully she didn't. Yeah, no, I, I agree. That would, that would be one thing I would change, but even that's just like a small nitpick right. for 